C5 Corvette differences, 97 and 2004. There's quite a few and it's pretty interesting, so stick around. Well, welcome back to the channel, guys. It's a crappy Sunday here. It was gorgeous this morning. I woke up, the snow was beautiful. Now it's just raining and 35, but it's what it is, I guess. So the Hearst giveaway is officially over. Congrats to Deborah. You're my first female winner on the channel, which is awesome, and I hope you appreciate it. I should have it out to you in the next couple of days, so watch out for that in the mailbox. So just when I think I've covered everything there's to cover on the C5 Corvette platform, my little brain thinks some more things to come up with and, and let you guys enjoy and learn, I hope. So I'm almost at 3,000 subs, which is freaking amazing. I never dreamed I'd have 100, let alone 3,000, which is awesome. I'm doing something right, I guess, and I appreciate you guys tuning in. And I do want to do something fun for 5,000 subs, so I'm open to ideas. If you guys have anything fun I should give away at 5,000, let me know. I think that's it as far as updates go. So today I wanted to talk about the differences year by year from 97 to 04. Not only mechanical, but the color differences as well. There's quite a bit. Some years have a lot more than others, and overall it's pretty fascinating. So obviously we're going to start with 1997. Now this was the biggest change, because it's the new year, of course, going from the C4 platform to the C5, which is pretty monumental change. You know, the, the two biggest is being the transaxle. The transmission is now in the back for 50-50 weight distribution and more room in the footwell. And additionally, the introduction of the LS platform, uh, which was which is a awesome motor. And I do want to do a video devoted just to that motor. But long story short, in 1997, you had a LS1 pushrod V8, which produced 345 horsepower and approximately 350 foot-pounds of torque. And you had seven color options in 1997. Arctic white, Sebring silver metallic, Nassau blue, black, light carmine red metallic, torch red, and fairway green. Side note, I love the fairway green, and I'm surprised they don't use it more often. Typically, the Corvette uses it in their inauguration year, and then it kind of goes away. Why? I don't know. All right, 1998. This is the first year the convertible became available for the C5 Corvette. Active handling becomes a thing. And those are your, your large noticeable differences for 1998. And he had 12 color options this year, and they are Arctic White, Light Pewter Metallic, Sebring Silver Metallic, Radar Purple Metallic, which is a very unique color. Nassau Blue as well. Navy Blue Metallic, they like metallic colors, huh? Black, Light Carmine Red Metallic. I think I'm saying that right. Carmine, Carmine, I don't know. Aztec Gold, fun fact, only 15 of the Aztec Gold Corvettes were ever made. So super rare. Torch Red, Fairway Green Metallic once again, and Medium Purple Pearl Metallic, and very few of those were made as well. Something like 350 if I'm not mistaken. All right, 1999. Things finally start to get, not more interesting, but more options available, if you will. This was the introduction of the FRC, like the Z06 behind me, which is an FRC, uh, meaning it's fixed, it's fixed roof, no target, no uh, convertible, obviously. Uh, all these came with the Z51 package suspension and only came in a 16 manual. They're approximately 60 pounds lighter, and this is the same year that a, a HUD also became available in the Corvette. The fuel system only got one rail on the driver's side now. The fuel pump itself this year was also revised to be less noisy, but it still is pretty noisy. If you go to C5, you know that. And the introduction of a power telescoping steering wheel. And some steering hardware was configured differently. It doesn't say how, uh, but it was to combat wandering at highway speeds. And the introduction of Corvette door seal panels were introduced. And you had eight colors to choose from in 1999. Arctic White, Light Pewter Metallic, Sebring Silver Metallic, Nassau Blue Metallic, Navy Blue Metallic, Black, Magnetic Red Metallic, and Torch Red. And Fairway Green is officially gone. 2000, things got a little more fun and interesting as well. They got rid of the wagon wheels and replaced them with a more thin-spoked chrome option. Pubcats were added to all the California sold Corvettes, because California. He actually lost five horsepower if you bought a Corvette in California with that option. Fun fact. The steel sway bar end links replaced plastic ones on the Z51, which I was shocked to learn they actually use plastic sway bar end links in any of these cars. That's pretty weird. And the sway bars themselves grew ever so slightly in diameter. The omission of a keyhole on the passenger side door and a passenger airbag off switch added to the console. And you had nine color options for the year 2000. Light Peter Metallic, Sebring Silver Metallic, Nassau Blue Metallic, Navy Blue Metallic, Black, 
Torch Red. Millennium Yellow made its debut, which I love this color. Magnetic Red 2, clear coat, and a dark bowling green metallic. All right, 2001, things get pretty interesting this year. Of all the changes, 2001 had the most by far, so strap in. Updated fuel injectors for this year, all models. Second generation active handling introduced. Nassau Blue was officially discontinued. A alternator clutch pulley was introduced on all of the automatic transmissions. New soundproofing was introduced on all of the non-Z06 models. A smaller key fob was introduced as well. A dimming rear view mirror became an option. A lighter battery was introduced. Chrome and more rounded exhaust tips were now introduced as well. A larger 85 millimeter map. The LS1 cam profile was slightly changed. All Corvettes across the board now have the LS6 intake. And this is something I learned today. All Corvette engines, not just the LS6, use the LS6 block. It has a little window passages in between each of the cylinders. It's kind of neat. And also comes with a beefier oil pump. And LS1s are officially 350 horsepower and 375 foot-pounds of torque. The hardtop FRC was scrapped this year. Uh, Pretty much because they changed it into the Z06 you see behind me. Stronger synchros were introduced to all the manual transmissions. Exhaust manifolds were slightly redesigned. Metal valve stem caps were introduced. The torque tube was officially changed from a composite type material to just a aluminum alloy. Drive shaft couplings were also beefed up as well. The biggest change of 2001 was the introduction of the Z06 which you see behind me, which came with the LSX standard. Um, had 385 horsepower in its inauguration year. Came with the M12 transmission with shorter gearing for better acceleration, but the top end was actually slower than the base model Corvette. Slightly lighter because it used the same fixed roof coupe situation. Um, Z51 package, of course, and it included. It had the bigger Alcoa wheels, front and back, 18s in the back, 17s up front. It had beefed up clutch as well, uh, a lighter windshield, titanium exhaust, stronger rear differential, red brake caliper standard. And there's a handful of other things that make the Z06 an awesome car and I have plenty of videos if you want to see all the little details on the Z06 specifically what makes it a little different but those are kind of the cliff notes if you will and 2001 had nine colors to pick from a pewter metallic of course quicksilver metallic navy blue metallic speedway white which was only an option for one year on the Z06 very rare car black torch red millennium yellow magnetic red 2 metallic and dark bowling green metallic once again all right 2002 Pretty much the only changes was to the Z06 platform, the base and convertibles, no real changes so to speak of. The Z06 LS6 cam got a little bigger, a less restrictive intake box, a de-screened math, removal of the pup cats in the Z06 platform which gave it a total of 405 horsepower with all those little modifications. The Z06 uh, shocks were a little, tweaked just a little bit, a little less balanced in the rear end so it has better launching capability. And the Z06 brake pads offered in 2002 were slightly better for better stopping. Piston rings were revised as well in the LS6 for less oil burning. The clutch strength was also updated in 2002. And 2002, the, you now have the option of a HUD in the Z06. Fun fact, my 01 did not come with a HUD, but I threw one in. And there's a video somewhere on my channel if you're curious. And the wheel supplier changed from Alcoa to Speedline. They look almost identical. They're a little bit lighter, uh, 02 to 04. I actually like this slightly darker graphite look of the O1. And the steel end links that changed a couple years ago to aluminum are now steel. And you had eight color options to choose from in 2002. Peter Metallic, again, Quicksilver Metallic, Electron Blue Metallic, which is my second favorite color on this car. Speedway White, but not available in the Z06. Black, Torch Red, Millennium Yellow again, and Magnetic Red Metallic. 2003, almost no changes outside of the fuel system. The fuel pumps got redesigned a little bit. The fuel filter is now in the tank, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but that's the biggest change for all the models from 02 to 03. They kept it pretty simple. Color options did change though. So you have eight colors to choose from. Quicksilver Metallic, Electron Blue Metallic, Speedway White, Black, Torch Red, Millennium Yellow, Spiral Gray Metallic, and a 50th anniversary, almost like a burgundy red color. And I think the rims were kind of like a gold pewter it's kind of cool looking and here we go 2004 not too many changes the only changes uh for this year were just the z06 and a couple color changes the z06 shocks were further redesigned and refined if you will and they changed the bushings in the upper and lower control arms and the rear sway bar bushings were changed as well that's about it for 2004 and you had eight color options to choose from in 2004 the arctic white le mans blue metallic which is a commemorative edition you'll see it on the z06 it has the kind of cool silver stripe right down the middle of it. And I think the base models had it as well, if I'm not mistaken. Black, machine silver, torch red, millennium yellow, magnetic red metallic, and medium spiral gray metallic. 
So there you go. Those are the biggest changes year to year from 97 to 2004. I'm sure I missed some. Uh, I went through the minis forms and technical bulletins as I could to find different options. By all means, I want to hear anything I missed below or any kind of funny, neat things I kind of didn't touch on. Feel free to put it in the comments. I am freezing my ass off, so I'm going to go inside and edit this. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this, and I should have some more mini content coming out this week. And I want some ideas for a 5,000 sub giveaway. Do you guys have any good, unique ideas? I want to hear them down below. And like always, thank you for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys next time. Mark out.